I started teaching camo the hunt em up command and I can't edit videos right now so this is just a straight video without any editing so I'm just gonna have to deal with the visual aspects of this but it'll be very clear you know what the basic rule of thumb is if you want to teach the dog to find something first of all the first time you're gonna do this you're gonna have the dog on a leash and I came out here and I put objects just out here in the hallway behind this thing. Let me move the camera so you can sort of see. So I put scented objects behind this right here and I just kind of, I said hunt them up and the objects that we were looking for, he knows what it is. It's retrieving dummies with bird scent on it. So I sort of was over here and I go hunt them up, hunt them up and then, you know, he might have visually seen it before he smells it. You had to sort of teach the dog to use its nose. So we probably played that game 30 times yesterday, me hiding the dummies inside and outside, real easy areas and sort of, um, you know, just bring the dog into that area by saying, hunt him up. And then he finds it, then it's a lot of praise. And I use a tone with the dog, like uh, I'll say, hunt him up, and I'll go, where is it, where is it, like that sort of exciting the dog and the dog looks around and then when the dog finds a good boy and he's already taught to retrieve so it brings the object to me. Now for him to be a hunting dog, which that's what he's going to be trained to do, we first teach them to find it and it's okay that he puts it in his mouth but at a point we're going to just teach the dog to alert on the object, meaning he's a, he's a, uh, he's a bird dog so we'll teach him to go to the low position when he gets the scent. Like a, a DEA dog or a dog that sniffs bombs, they alert by going to the down position. You could have the dog sit in front of the object. You could have the dog scratching something. But first you want to teach the dog the basic game. It's like, I gave you the command. There's something in this area to look for and find it. So that's what we're going to do. And I have an object in the laundry room here. And I'll have the light off because we've done it enough and he sort of gets the game at this point. And I put a object at the top of the steps. So let, let's see how he does. I bet he finds both these objects. Remember, this he's going in a dark room so he cannot use his eyes. And a dog's number one scent is scenting. It is not eyesight. Their eyesight is about as crappy as ours. Let's see how Campbell does. Sorry, no editing. You guys are just going to have to deal with it. Come on, hunt it up. Hunt it up, buddy. No, hunt it up. Good boy, you got it. Good job, buddy. Good job. Here, nice. That was good. Now, uh, my neighbors were coming on, so that sort of distracted him. So, this is a young dog. He's, you know, under, you know, it's like a little bit over six months or something. So, he got distracted. I didn't let him leave that area. I gave him the hunt him up command. It's the same thing. It's a command. Do you understand? So it doesn't matter that I got distracted. I didn't let him come out. I wanted him to continue finding it, and he found it. Now, actually, what he was, the scent on this thing, this is for a dummy launcher, so he was smelling gunpowder residue, and I have a pheasant wing tape to it. Now, I have an object up the steps. Let's see if he can go find that one, too. Now, the, this was behind the water heater, and it was in a dark room, so he had to use his nose to find this thing. So the dog will start getting better and better and better at it. Some dogs are better at it at first. It's a, it's a sort of learned thing too, so your dog can get a lot better at it. He's not that good at it right now, but with a, in a very short time, they start using their nose. It's a big problem with a lot of these city dogs. They use their eyes, not their nose. A lot of visual stimulation, you know, causes a problem. So let's see if we'll go up the stairs and, and bring me an object back. The object upstairs is uh, like at the side of a box, so he will, he'll have to use his nose, but he, he also could see it too, but it's not right out of the open. Come on, put him up.
Oh, you got that right away, dude. Good boy. Come on, buddy. Come on. Good boy. Nice job, Cammy. Cammy, here, boy. Yeah, good job, dude. That's pretty good, right? Little Camo. It's a great game to play with your dog. They like it, and it's fun to play with them with Tonka. And the older dogs, I'll just put objects out in the field, play the same game to practice, you know, for, for hunting. This smells like a bird, so I can take Tonk out and Tonk will point on the object. It's a, it's a great game. It's like playing um, not hide and seek. It's just, you know, find it. Hunt them up. We use the hunt them up command.